Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Jessiper's Weekly Ramble. I am Jessiper, and today we're going to be talking about the games, the TTRPGs that I play and what's up and coming. On Saturday, we got to conclude the arc, sort of, mostly, for Shades of Scarlet, where I play Media Extraordinaire Moxie 11. Sunday, unfortunately, Indie Bandits was cancelled uh, due to uh, one of the players being ill and another one in the middle of a winter storm morning. They are safe, they are sound, um, which is great. Uh, health and safety always take priority for me. No game is worth risking your life for. So, unfortunately, Indie Bandits was cancelled. And my Monday game was also cancelled because of an internet issue. So... <laughs> It's been a quiet weekend, which has thrown off my internal clock, I guess. Normally, you know, I'm prepped for these games, each of which take three to four hours. And, you know, building up to it and getting excited, it kind of has like this high. And then when it doesn't happen, even for understandable reasons, I end up in this little bit of a lull. And I, I find this week it's been very hard to get motivated after a few drops like that so and the game in Saturday's game too I, I thought it would be short it was not short uh, there was still a lot to explore in that little area of Neutronic Solutions and spoiler alert if you are not caught up with Shades of Scarlet here there be spoilers uh, so they entered the basement, they decided to go to the core, entered a room that looks like an indoor playground, got attacked, and spent the majority of the episode, the practically the entirety of the episode in this very intense combat with drones and bears that was, or bear, I suppose, uh, they could have ended the lives of two... Well, three team members, two PCs, two player characters, and one NPC. Which would have been very horrible. Uh, in the end, though, they all... Well. Well, I'll let you watch the episode if you want to. Uh, you can check it out on the Suits for Death channel on YouTube. And uh, it's called Doctor's Orders, that episode. Um, But as one of the players who did not go down into the deep dark dungeon and decided to sit with the van so it wouldn't get her car vehicle so that it wouldn't get stolen it was the third I suppose episode of being well this one specifically was um I didn't get to there was nothing for my character to do and there was nothing for the uh, another player's character to do so we, we sat, and we listened, and we watched. Uh, I get track of burning damage and viruses was pretty much uh, the only thing. I know sometimes as a GM, it's hard to remember that those small little things because you've got so much going on in your, your brain where you're like, okay, these people are doing this, this is doing this, but this is also this timer, like this countdown on your brain, you're trying to piece together and respond, and sometimes little things slip through the cracks. I get that as a GM. So I was helping remem remind the GM of burning tick damage to one of the enemies. And that was that was all I got to do for four hours. So it was, if you've ever been a player at a table where your character is not the focus, as interesting and engaging as it was, it's really difficult especially when it's combat and there's tactics and you want to say things but you can't say things I did say one thing but that was it other than like the burning damage but because you're not there and you're not part of it it's very difficult and then when we ended trying to get information they were unresponsive partially because of injuries and the one person who wasn't gave like a brief overview that was not helpful at all uh which my character has now determined that she doesn't care about so like, you don't want to talk about it you guys want to have your secrets it's fine you're allowed to have those i'm not gonna impress um but it made it very 
hard at points to be engaged and appear engaged for four hours. Because that's the, the thing about streaming, right? Is I'm supposed to be watching, I'm supposed to be engaged, I'm supposed to be um, smiling and looking at things. And there were moments I was not. There were moments I, I was listening. I was always listening. But I ended up doing... Um, I ended up coloring on my phone. <laughs> Just doing a little like coloring page. I have a coloring page app. It suits me. Just because I needed something to do other than sit and smile for four hours. And that was kind of rough. Not that, and again, not that I mind. I like it when it was my character's choice to stay there and I knew that could happen. Um, had I known, however, that it would have been four hours, I might have asked for the night off and just been like, hey, my character's not needed. But you never know how things are going to go, right? And I think it's it's important. Nah, I wouldn't have asked the night off. I would have been there anyway. I think it's important to be there and support your, your team no matter what. It was just one of those very difficult sessions to sit and be quiet and smile and not do anything. Uh, blessedly, chat was great, and I got to interact a lot with the chat, which was wonderful. Um, I'm curious to note, though, what you guys do, if you know, to just keep yourselves or keep your brains occupied while listening to what's going on around you. Because that's the thing. I can listen generally and focus on something else, as long as it's not writing, because then I'll get confused, but... Um, like, I sometimes I tune out for 15 minutes, especially if it's just, like, prep planning and what they're going to do, because they can't offer a solution. So it's just, well, let's just wait and see. And so, you know, tuning out sometimes does happen. But it can be, I don't know, it can be difficult when you're not in a scene. Um, and this one for, like, a good chunk of, like, three episodes. I mean, another character, we're not in a scene. This is not the first time it's happened. And not that, that sounds so bad that came across so wrong. Um, it's not the first time it's happened. So we've had experience with it before. It's just, it can be very arduous to uh, appear engaged when there's nothing mentally stimulating, for me anyway, um, that I can focus on and, and try to problem solve because my character isn't there. And I don't want to backseat the game, mostly. So... <laughs> Yeah, so that was Saturday. Um, but yeah, if you have any any tips, I know some people have like fidget spinners, so they play with fidget spinners. Uh, I believe another um, someone else I listened to, like the GM, when you know the party was planning, um, and they had to sit and kind of listen, but they couldn't offer advice, so they had to sort of tune out. Uh, played Minesweeper or Solitaire on their computer just to, to have something to to fidget and fiddle with. So I'm curious if you guys, what you guys do when you know, the scene's not on you, and you want to be supportive, and you want to listen, but you need that little extra mental stimulation to help get you through it. As for Indie Bandits, I think I'm going to have to start accepting the fact that I might have sessions with only two people, because this happens quite frequently when I only have two, and that's half the party, and I normally do not like progressing the story when I have a half or less of the party. Um, well, half the party, I feel like you do solo stories. But, you know, they're, they're at this point where they want to progress and I would like them all to be there so they can progress this, you know, the situation together, especially where they're going. And I think it's going to have to get to a point where I become more comfortable with not having a full party. And because like three, three of my four players, that's fine. I could do that quite easily. But when it's a half, I think I have to be more open being like, okay, well, we're going to keep going and... We'll see what happens. So, it'll be interesting. Sunday will be interesting. We'll see how that goes. I, I think they're going to get into a combat, which I wasn't expecting. One of the players mentioned something of interest that would interest them, so I'm going to add it in. And we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, uh, Monday game, I'm looking back, looking forward to getting back into it, but I don't know when. It might be in three months because uh, the internet provider apparently uh, is a greedy corp that took on too many people for money and did not have the pieces in place to actually be able to service all said people. So, 
we'll see how that goes. Uh, otherwise, I'm working on more Cyberpunk Red Homebrew for you guys. I hope it'll be interesting. It um, was spurred from something that I obey. Hopefully, fingers crossed, get a chance to do with Moxie in character. Uh, and if not, that's fine. We'll see how it goes. And what else? What else do I have on the go? I feel like there's so much and yet not enough. I think that's it. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna call it there. So, oh no, that's a lie. I recently purchased, and by recently I mean earlier today, purchased the Solo But Not Alone 4 bundle. Solo But Not Alone is a drive that gets a bunch of creators together who make TTRPGs that you can play on your own that you don't need a table for. And they put them all into a bundle that you can buy for $10. And it raises money for a charity that supports mental health. And so I bought the bundle earlier today. I went through, I downloaded everything. I went through a few of the TTRPGs and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play them weekly on my channel. Possibly, possibly not this week because I'd like to get a new overlay for that. So you can see like the journaling methods and I don't think I can do camera for dice, but we'll figure it out. I will figure it out and hopefully I will be doing that soon and we can explore new TTRPGs that you can play all on your own uh, every, every week. So I'm looking forward to that. If that's something you guys would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. And I will be happy to discuss those uh, titles with you and, you know, put that out uh, into the world. Put that content out into the world. That's all for me for now. Uh, I hope your new year has started off uh, positively. And I will catch you next week. Until then, meow for now.